In this video, I'll show you how to create a basic pivot table in Excel. I have a sheet of data here for sales of books to school districts. I could perform a bunch of calculations to get some summary statistics, but I'm going to use a pivot table instead. Pivot tables tend to be faster, and once you get the hang of them, more intuitive than calculating individual statistics. I want to know sales by school district and my profit margin. Click the insert tab. I'm going to create a pivot table by scratch, but once you have the basic idea, you can select the automatic option and choose from a list of options that Excel thinks you might want. Click on any cell in your data. Click pivot table. I'm going to stay with new sheet. Click OK. On the left is a blank pivot table space. On the right, a list of fields and areas. The first thing I want to look at is number of cells by school district and school. Click and drag school to rows, then click school district and rows. This is not how I want to sort my data. But the nice thing about pivot tables is it's very easy to play around with your data to get what you want. Let's drag those two options back to where they came from. And now I'm going to reverse the order. Along the columns, I want the type of school. That's the designation. Drag that to columns, and those are your column headers. I'm just going to widen the columns to make it a bit more readable. I want sales counts by school district, so drag school district to values. Up in the top left, you can see this is the count for school district, and in the table I have all of my counts. I'm not really interested in counts by school at this point, so I'm going to go ahead and collapse those counts. Next, I want to see the profit I made by school district. Let's move everything out of the area except for school district. In summer values, I'm going to drag price and cost. This adds two columns of sum totals for those categories. Click Fields, Items and Sets, then Calculate Field. I'm going to name the new column Profit. The Formula section works. Like most formulas in Excel, start with an equal sign, then click Price. That's my sales price. Insert Field, Minus Cost, and Insert Field again. Click OK. Now I have a new column with Sum of Profit. Right clicking on the table will give you some options. Let's say I wanted to sort from largest to smallest. I can do that here. I can also change the decimal places. Right click Number Format. I want two decimal places. Click OK. You can also go to the Design tab to change the overall look of the table. Scroll down to choose an option, or click the Expand button to see a bigger view of all the options. I'm going to choose this simple blue table here, and I've created my basic pivot table. I hope you found the video helpful. Please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.